NBA 2K25, my player and my career courtside report. Let's get it. Welcome back to our next NBA 2K25 courtside report. Today I'm joined by Zach Timmerman, principal producer on NBA 2K25, as well as Mark Little, my career developer. Zach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Now there is so much to talk about for NBA 2K25. This is where fans can live love their that. dreams and build their legacy like never before. Oh before yeah. Before we get into my career, let's talk about the My Player Builder. All right. When you're building your My Player, you're you're not just building a legacy this year, you're also building a dynasty for your team. And we understand this is a very integral moment, a very important decision. And so we put a lot of time into ensuring that the various paths that we have in the builder are going to allow all walks of our gamers to be able to make the player that they want to make. Okay, let's see. The create your own. It's the builder where you just have. Oh, okay. So it looks the same thing as last year's, which I'm not mad at that. We'll take it. So many options, changing your position, changing your size. You can articulate through every single one of your attributes and get to right where you want to go with your builder. Mm. All while you can see the various perks that your player is eventually going to be. Whoa. Oh. Okay. It looks the same thing as last year's. Same thing. It's just, are we going to get more? attributes or okay so he's at a 76 overall right now but the ball handling is at a 94 pass accuracy 69 people balls at 84 speed and agility is uh, okay was somewhat there uh driving layups at 88 he's already at a 76 overall and he didn't even fix his three-point shot mid-range shot so it's looking like the same thing i'll tell you what's different that the rebounding has its own attributes it used to be with the defense but now it's got its own deal which is Pretty cool. I like that, actually. Ultimately, it's the builder where somebody who wants to mess around with the thousands of possibilities can eventually make the build that they want to. We also have our pro build making veterans that have been playing the game for a long time. They're probably going to want to jump in there as well. There's also another group that wants to jump in there to try to make a unique build that nobody else in the world has made. This sounds really intriguing. One thing I loved about last year was okay. community members submitting their builds and you guys implementing them into the game. Are those returning this year? The community builds feature that we had last year, it was really exciting. It was really nice to grab the best build makers that we have out there, be able to have them put their build in the game. Ultimately, people, when they would grab these builds, they felt like they could instantly compete and, and play with the best gamers out there. They'll be available season right. two. We'll be dropping new ones each season with the intention of giving you access to the latest and greatest play styles that are out there. A lot of okay. new features coming with this new builder system, Zach. What else can you share about creating your My Player into your Right. Profile? What else in is there? these builder paths, there's access to more information than we've ever given you before. You'll see which badges you qualify for. You'll see which takeovers you qualify for in our new takeover system. And you'll also be able to see which animations your player will qualify for. Ultimately, it's going to give you a really good feel for whether or not the player is going to move and react the way that you want. Whoa. Oh, we just got gameplay, dude. And it actually looks quicker, faster, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're showing a lot of stuff here. As you qualify for in our new takeover system, and you'll also be able take to see what animations your player will qualify for. Ultimately, oh my God, that's great. We can see what animations we get to get when creating our my play. That's great, man. Instead of just going in unknownly, they should have did that a long time ago, but this, that's a big change. It'll give you a really good feel for whether or not the player is going to move and react the way that you want oh, to. Oh, wow. The animation system. Oh. Oh, dude. Okay, wait a minute. That looked good. I I, I like the gameplay. The player is going to move and react the way that you want to through the animation system. Okay. I love all that, but I especially love. It looks a lot faster, a lot quicker. Everybody's moving quicker. I like that. The new takeover system. Takeovers back in a new way this year. We have 70 takeovers and 14 special abilities. In the builder, you can see which takeovers you qualify for. Once you get into my career, you can swap your takeovers in and out. They all have oh, nice. requirements that determine whether or not you're able to equip these takeovers. Once you get into the game, you're going to see your takeover meter. There's five levels to your takeover, and it's kind of like five levels of hotness. Once you hit uh -huh. level five, the special ability turns on, and that allows you to kind of dominate the game for a short period of time. Okay. Oh, dude, this looks good. Level five, the special ability turns on, and that look at this okay it's definitely different it allows you to kind of dominate the game for a short period of time okay 70 takeovers what are some of your favorites I okay think the one that i've been grabbing i gotta look at that again guys i i, I have to level to. five the special ability turns on and 
know, that allows you to kind of dominate the game for a short period of time. Okay, 70 wow, That's takeovers. nice. What are some of your favorites? I think the one that I've been- It just looks quicker. It looks fat. It looks every everything. It looks more fluid. It doesn't look so animation based, which is probably still gonna be animation based, but it definitely looks like a step uh, further, like, like better. Gravitating towards the most is barbecue chicken. If you're a hoop head, you know what that name means. It means you're about to put somebody in the post and turn them into a rag doll. It yeah. boosts throughout the levels of takeover, boosts your post control, your shot close, and your strength. And then when the oh, special okay. ability turns on, it turns on deep post bag, which essentially allows you to completely dunk. Okay, and then when the so you actually level up your takeover. Now that's a new thing. Ability turns on, it turns on deep post bag, which essentially allows you to completely dunk nice. the post oh. again for a short period of time. Right. And shots back downs, every post move you can think of. So it's a lot of fun for somebody who likes to play in the post. Okay. What can you tell us about badges? Badges? This year we have 40 badges. They're a lot more all encompassing than they have been in the past. Each one of them has a larger impact. And so we're really happy. Oh wow, red maxed. Whoa. They went from bronze, silver, gold, purple to red. I like that. I like that a lot. With the badge allotment that we have right now, we feel like we've hit every part of basketball that's important. And okay, see, 40 badges is perfect. Ain't not no 100 badges. We don't need 100. We don't need 100 badges. Take out all the unnecessary ones, which is probably going to be some like unnecessary ones with 40 badges. But 40 badges, I think, is really good. The less badges, the more the game is going to be better because there's so many badges that the game gets confused. You get what I'm saying? 40 badges is still a lot. I wish it was a lot less, like maybe like 20 badges. I mean, I'm saying myself 20, 25 badges, 23 badges. I think I'd like that would be like good. And ultimately, we're accentuating everybody's play style for these badges. One other thing I want to talk about is badge progression. Badge progression is basically how often are you using your badge? The oh, more no. often you use the badge, the faster it's going to progress. Ultimately, though, if oh. you don't use your badge this year, you won't regress, which okay. I'm sure our fans are okay. pretty <laughs> Yeah, look, they, 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 they looked at the camera and he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's good. Yeah, yeah, we messed up last year. We messed we messed that up. So it sounds like badges are completely reworked this year in 2025. Yes. Yeah, so this year yes. we introduced a new level of badge called Legend. It's a level right. above Hall I of seen Fame. that. It's oh. pretty difficult to get. You have to raise your attributes pretty high. Okay. But ultimately, you know, it really allows you to dominate in that area of the game. Zach, I'm excited. Can't wait to get my hands on the builder. Thanks for all the new details. And for all of you, stay connected to the NBA 2K25 courtside report where you can learn all about the new My Player Builder. Okay. Now we know about all the new exciting features in the My Player Builder, but it's time to learn about my career. It's not a lot new. It's it's, it's not. It's just kind of like the same thing. But hey, we got a few changes for the better. For the better. We can see our animations now. We can see what we can unlock in the animation build. That, that's great. There's no more badge regression. That's great. We lowered down to 40 badges. I don't know if there was 40 badges last year or not. I don't know. I'm not I, I'm not too for sure. But there's 40 badges this year, and I think that's better. I'm joined by Mark Little. Let's jump right in. What's new in my career for NBA 2K25? My career in NBA 2K25 is all about building the greatest dynasty in NBA history. You're my player this year, growing up outside of Chicago. And like his idol, Michael Jordan, he wants to build a dynasty that lasts throughout the ages. You can learn okay. about your my player's history and his path to the NBA through an optional flashback story called The Heart of the Dynasty, which you get. I uh, don't really care for the flashback stories. Uh... To relive four of his most iconic games in his pre-NBA career, including a high school state championship, a FIBA U19 World Cup, and even an open run with some NBA players where one of the players is not so happy and he got invited. Okay, I kind of like that. It's not too bad, actually. They put a lot more stuff in the flashback. It's not just going to flashback to my grandfather playing in the NBA. All these games are available for you to play right away. You can play them at any point in your career, but if you really want to just jump right into your NBA career and start building your dynasty, you can do that too. Okay. So let's talk about Wait a minute. Right into your NBA. Experience my player's backstory. Start hooping it in the city. Start your NBA career. Okay, got it. Career and start building your dynasty. You can do that too. So let's talk about creating your own dynasty in my career. Last yeah. year, we introduced the GOAT ranking system. Right. And in that, you're able to see your my player rise up through the rankings and yeah. ultimately become the GOAT. Yes. 
This year, we're adding a dynasty rankings, which is more about your team's performance and less about your personal achievements. So okay. we've ranked the nine greatest dynasties in NBA history. And as oh. your team does stuff like deep playoff runs, winning championships, you'll okay. see them rise the dynasty rankings until ultimately they get to the number one spot and displace Michael Jordan's Bulls. Oh, so it's... You know, okay, it literally oh, the meaning of it, dynasty ranking, got it, for your team, which makes it more of a reason to play your full season and uh, other seasons going on because you're trying to get that number one dynasty ranking. I get it. It's nice. Level hype. So what kind of prospect is MP in 2K25? This year, MP is not a GOAT level hype. You're going to have okay. to earn your position in the starting lineup. And if the okay. player in front of you is really good, it's going to be even harder. This will okay. definitely be one of your first obstacles as you try to build your dynasty. So okay. it sounds like I got to earn my place in the starting lineup. What does the flow look like in my career? Is it key games, every game? Key games are back this year, and we're really excited about the improvements we've made. This mm -hmm. year, you have a lot of control about which key games you play. We've divided the season into two halves, and in each half, you'll meet with your coach and GM and select a personal goal. The personal goal you pick is what determines the key games you play. We've even tiered right. the matchup system, so if your MT is still at a lower level... Let's see. Climb the positional pecking order by outclassing your matchups and victories matchup nightmare offensive juggernaut best of the best okay so they got like i guess different stuff it's it's your personal goal me myself i'm not going to be playing key games i'm, I'm going to play every game obviously because it's just more realistic like that for me at least uh, for me at least level you'll match up against lower level nba players but if you're a 99 you're going to be matched up against the best of the best okay if that's not your thing you could decide you want to try and win the nba cup or maybe you want to focus on winning road games or maybe in your rookie season mm -hmm. you want to show that you're the top rookie in your class we've even got right. some key games that are focused entirely about you posterizing other guys so the personal goals and key games you get to pick from is completely different dependent on the build you made, your team you picked, and your current overall. So there's a lot of content depending on the scenario and play style you've picked. And on top right. of that, if you successfully complete your personal goal in key games, you get an all new dynasty badge. So the dynasty badges you okay. earn help improve your team and shape the dynasty you're about to make. This sounds exciting. What about other new features in my career? Wait, what did you say there? An all new dynasty badge. So the dynasty badges you earn help improve your team and shape the dynasty you're about to make. This sounds exciting. Okay, so you got new dynasty badges. Okay. Features in my career that you can talk about. There's a lot more than I'm going to be able to go into here today, but I'll give you a few more of my favorites. So earlier uh -huh. I mentioned you can play a FIBA game in the optional flashback story. Well, you can also play FIBA games in our new revised offseason. Some more gameplay here today, but I'll give you a few more of my favorites. So earlier I mentioned you can play a FIBA game in the. Okay, so look at the top right. So we have our takeover, our chemistry, and we got our grade and our. Points, rebounds, assists, and field goal percentage, which it looks looks better. You know, it's just tiny up there, which is totally fine. I uh, like that. Let's see. Is the court bigger and the player smaller? Uh, I can't really see that, honestly, because that's what they kind of said. I don't really see it that much. It looks the same. <laughs> it looks the same. The court needs to be a little bit bigger. Story well, you can also play FIBA games in our new revised off-season flow. You'll be able to play oh, nice. FIBA friendlies, FIBA qualifiers, and even a FIBA tournament that you oh. can invite other NBA stars to join. No, and that's of cool. NBA stars, this year we're also adding jersey swaps. So there are oh. optional highlight games on your calendar where you can earn jerseys from players like Jalen Brunson or Victor Wendell oh. only if you pass the in-game challenges against okay. their teams. And you're going to want to collect those jerseys because not only can you wear them around the city, but you can also put them on display in your My Court. You said... Oh, no. okay, that's cool. My Court? My Court is returning? My Court's returning. about My Court, but I'm confirming My Court is back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. You know, cool. my court's been a feature that people have been wanting for a long yes. time, and we're yes. very happy to bring it to 2K25. Yes. All right, my court, exciting stuff. I can't wait to start building my dynasty in NBA 2K25's My Career Mode. Mark, thanks so much for joining us and sharing all this great. Okay, so that was really good. I liked it. Some implements that they put in there, very small, minimum implements that they put in there, which is not bad. Both tier was cool and all, but I didn't really you know strive for it i felt like it was nothing to really strive for you know it was like it looked like it was gonna take forever but the dynasty rankings is gonna take forever too but i'm more of a team guy i want my team to win i want 
I, you know, I'm not so much of myself of a GOAT player. For whether or not the player is going to move and react the way that Look you want at that, to man. through the animation system. Look at that. Them. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Whether or not the player is going to move and react the way that you want to through the animation system. Move and react the way that you want okay. to. Okay. I mean, that that's looking to. good, man. And move and react. I, I like that. I'm react. liking that, dude. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, let's go back to the other dunk. It's looking more fluid than ever but that's i don't know i don't got my hands on it you know what i'm saying i don't know if it feels sticky or not i don't want it to feel sticky like i'm stuck in mud or you know the, you know how it felt man i don't want that feeling again but this looks more free this right here is what i wanted to check out too so when he that allows you to kind of dominate blows the game by for a short period of time I mean, it looks the same but it also looks fluid at the same time so hold on let me uh turn this guy down okay Oh, you got the dunk meter back. Okay, that looks pretty good. Mm. Oh, man. It looks like it's got a lot more fluidity with it. The court does not look bigger, like, at all, though. People are saying the court, if the court was smaller than this, that's pretty bad. Uh, if we never noticed that. Crazy how we never noticed that. Because if the court is bigger, man, it still looks small. So we see it in slow motion and in fast motion. Man, it, it does. Uh, it, like, I can't really tell, but man, I don't know, man. It looks, uh, it looks promising, dude. It looks good i'm liking it we won't really know until we get our hands on it but it does look a little bit different you can tell by like the graphical it's not gra it's like graphics gameplay if you can get what i'm saying like it has like that little bit of blur to it kind of you know what i'm saying but we wouldn't really know and the small things that we did see that was implemented into my career it looks good sounds good small little changes not big changes but the small little changes actually makes a difference it does if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like sub and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace